that I learn is uh, primarily by re repetition. So I'm, a, I'm definitely a doer. If I'm listening to a lecture, I have to rewrite the notes down as a person's talking. Mm -hmm. If I'm showing me something on the computer, I need to do it on my computer. That's how it will stick with me. So those of you who are doers, like myself, and I'm sorry, what's your name again? Ryan. Ryan. Do it on the computer. When I'm doing it up here, try to do it on the computer. So that is kind of syncing with you. If you are primarily visual, you'll be watching me up here. If you primarily listen, listen to me. If I go too fast or I'm too confusing, I want you to stop me and say, can you repeat that? Can you go back over that? Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to go through this assignment. It's 50 points. should be 50 easy points for you guys because I'm going to go through the assignment step by step. So the first part is how do you find the book in our different catalogs? I'm going to do. I'm going to demonstrate it up here. Questions one, two, three. Follow along. You should be able to answer these questions with no problem. Then we'll go down to how do you do a thesis? How do you find a thesis? Flip the page around. How do you find this article? How do you find particular databases? And then we're going to have a little talk about academic dishonesty. How can you avoid academic dishonesty? We're going to go through the whole thing. So if you are taking notes on this, this paper is for you to keep. You're not turning this into me. You jot down notes on this so that when you do the assignment online with Dr. Wabi, you will already have almost all of it done. Okay? So a um, couple things is I'm going to show you a few things about the library website first, and then we'll dive into doing this. Uh, one question I have for you, during the afternoon session, this really wasn't an issue, but now it's night. If I do this, do you guys have enough light to write by? Mm -hmm. yes. You're okay. All right, because you can see the screen easier this way. Okay, so library website. How many of you have used the library website already? Quite a few of you. Okay, a couple things I do want to point out to you that these are kind of peripheral things that people don't often use, but they're there. Um, let's say you have a book checked out and it's due, and it's Friday at 5:30. Does anybody know what the problem is? Closed. The library is closed. We close at 5 o'clock on Fridays. If you are at home or in your dorm, you have an overdue book that's, that's due, we have right up here, upper left-hand corner, renew. You can click this link, log in to your account, and it will show you which books you have checked out. You can check a little checkbox and then click renew, and it's no longer overdue. So you are free to do that. Don't panic if you have an overdue book and the library is already closed. You can do it online there. Other thing I want to point out about the website, we do have our hours listed here for today, the next couple days. If you want to see, well, what are we open at during the weekend, calendar of hours link will take you to our extended calendar. Contact us. Uh, we have our phone number here to the reference department. You can call us at any time. Excuse me, this part, live help. This is a chat service. This is 24 hours a day, seven days a week. This, if you click this, it would open up a chat box, and what you will get is a librarian somewhere in the state of Illinois. So they can help you with, I'm, I'm trying to do research on this particular topic, what kind of search term should I use? I'm trying to use this particular database, I'm having trouble with it. Um, I'm trying to find a particular book, that kind of, those kinds of questions, any library in, the state of, librarian in the state of Illinois can help you with that. If you get on the chat service and you're asking like, where in the library is the bathroom, somebody at another library around the state can't tell you that, right? So that's when you're going to have to just call us at the reference desk. But this life help is important because again, it's 24 hours a day, seven days a week, we have a librarian that will help you. That's a nice service for you all. This is different than the help desk for the computer service. Yes, this is library specific. Um, the main part of our page, and primarily what we're going to be using tonight, is the search box here. We're going to use a couple different tabs on the search box. But I want to point out a couple other things on the library website that could be useful to you. Under resources, we have this link right here, research guides. Research guides cover a number of different topics, one of which is uh, citations. You all have to do APA citations for your papers. We have an APA citation guide under research guides that you can find, you can look at, you can print out. We also have here the KEEP, which is our institutional repository. Um, we have a lot of content in the KEEP. We have faculty papers in there. We have daily Easter noon is issues. Um, we have uh, master's theses there. One of your questions on your assignment is how do you find a master's thesis? The KEEP is one of the ways you can answer that question, and I'll take you through that. 
Um, other things we have here, borrow, renew, return. If you have questions about how long you can borrow items, is right here. Uh, we also have a map of the library here in case you need to see the map. We have a staff directory here in case you need to try to find me. You want to contact me, but you don't remember what my email is. You can click the staff directory, you'll see my face, and you'll get that contact information. Okay, any questions about the website? All right, so we're going to start in on the assignment here. And what the assignment asks you to do, uh, besides writing your name up here, is you pick a research topic. And we're going to use the same research topic to find books, to find articles, to select databases. We're going to do that through the whole thing. So I'm going to just do a sample topic that we'll do together tonight. But for your assignment, you can do the sample topic or you can pick out something related to the paper that you're going to work. They're going to do a paper, right? Yeah. You're going to end up doing a paper in this class. You might pick out that paper or that topic for your paper because you'll be finding resources that will help you. Okay. So uh, have they started thinking about their topics yet? Not yet. Not yet. All right. What are some areas in technology that you have been thinking about, maybe for other classes? Some topics. Quality. Quality. Behavior science and energy efficiency. Behavior science and energy efficiency. That's a really good one because it's really narrow. OK. Other ones. <coughs> Sustainable energy, maybe. Uh, network security might be one. Cybersecurity is a big thing right now. Uh, when you say quality, you mean sort of like total quality management? OK. All right, so when you're thinking about the topic for your paper, how big of a paper is it? Five pages? 10 pages. 10 pages. 10 pages. You probably don't want to do a topic like sustainable energy, because that's too broad. It's, you can't cover that topic in 10 pages um, and be successful at it. Um, so you want to do something like, for example, total quality management might be a, a decent topic for that. Your topic is very particular, which is great. It's a good example because students generally have two problems when they're doing research for a paper. It's too broad or it's too narrow. So either they're getting way too many resources or they're getting way too few. And we're going to talk about how you address that somewhat. All right.